another session of Uncle Sam's Math Tutorial. Please remember before you do any other thing to like this video, click the subscribe button and click the notification to get notified of when I drop a new video. Okay, today we'll be going into division of decimal numbers without the use of calculator. Yes, recently we've been on the series of what calculating with decimal numbers and the last class we treated multiplication of decimal numbers. So in today's class we'll be discussing division of decimal numbers. You can actually do it without any use of any calculator. So let's go into it, this one. Here we have solved 0 0.0025 divided by 0 0.5. So the first thing we're going to do here yeah, is we're going to make this one on the left hand side to become our numerator. So we have 0 0.0025. Then this division will turn to this divided by 0 0.5. Now, the next thing to do here is to count the number of decimal places because we want to clear the decimal points and do a normal division. So, count the number of decimal places that you have for the numerator and the denominator and subtract. So, if I count the number of decimal places here, it means after the point, how many numbers can I see? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, for the numerator, we have 4 decimal places. And after the point, how many numbers can I see here? 1. So, the denominator has 1 decimal place. So, what do I do next? I'm going to subtract them from each other. I'm going to subtract them. So 4 minus 1 is going to give me what? 3. Now, this 3 is going to be crucial. And I also want it to bear in mind because at the end of our answer, we're going to be doing something really, really tricky. But it's very simple to assimilate. So once I've done this, what I'm going to do next is to remove the decimal point. And if I remove the decimal point here, I'm just with just the valid numbers I'm left with here are just 25 for the numerator. And the valid number I have down here will just be 5. So I can just do my normal division. 25 divided by 5 is going to give me 5. So this 5 is my answer. But this remaining decimal place, we have to do something about it. And what are we going to do about it? Here is the final answer 5. But because the numerator is one that had more decimal place than the denominator, after subtracting, we have that 3 decimal place is what I'm going to put this 5 in. And because it's the numerator we're going to move it backward three times so for me i'm going to move one two and three and fill here up with zero this is now where my point is so my final answer for this question is going to be 0 0.005 or some like to call it 0 0.005 now if you verify this with your calculator you're still going to get the same answer so this is how you can do it another example is here 1200 divided by 0 0.0004 now we see the same approach. I'm going to write this first as my numerator. And this will be my denominator. So, as usual, now this is 1,200. Does it have any decimal place? No, because it's a whole number. So the number of decimal place here can be likened to be zero. So it has zero decimal place. And here, down here, the denominator, how many decimal place? How many after the point you can see that we have one, two, three. That is three numbers. So that means the denominator has three decimal places. And as usual, you are going to subtract them. So three minus zero is going to give us what? Three. And remember what I said. Once you subtract it, keep it aside. Then remove the point from the denominator. If I remove the point from the denominator, I'm just going to be left with four. So this 1,200 divided by 0 0.004 is the same thing as 1,200 divided by four. Okay? So if I divide it, 4 here is 1, 4 divided 12 is going to give me 3, and I have 0, 0. So 4 divided 1,200 is going to be, give me 300. But I'm not done. Remember that here, because the numerator was one that had more decimal place, we moved backward. Now, in this case, the numerator had more decimal place than the numerator. So what do you think we are going, we are going to do? Move forward. That is it. It is the opposite of the other. So from this end, I'm going to move three times forward because that is the number of decimal places that is remaining after I've divided, after I've subtracted them from each other. So I'm going to from here move three times forward because this is where the point is. But it's at rest, you can't see it, it's invisible. So for me, I'll move one, two, and three and fill it with what? Zero. So my final answer here is going to be what? 300,000. Or you can say that it's what? Three times 10 raised to power. 
Now, this is how you can what, divide decimal numbers without the use of calculator. Now, one more example, because there are cases where you have a number like this. So, 0 0.88 divided by 0 0.08. Now, let's do this last one. Here, as usual, 0 0.88 will be on top and 0 0.08 will be under. Okay? So, what do we do? The first thing we do here is count number of decimal places. For the numerator, it is 2. And for the denominator, it is 2. So, we are going to subtract. 2 minus 2 is going to give us what? 0. Now, you see this in yellow. In this case, there is no remainder. There is no remaining decimal place. So, what are we going to do? We are just going to divide. So, remove the decimal point and you are left with 88 over 8. If you divide this, you are going to be left with what? 11. And 11, because the number of decimal places remaining is 0, we are neither moving forward nor backward. So, our final answer here at this point is 11. You can verify this with your calculator. Now, Remember to like and subscribe to this channel, okay? See you in the next video. Bye!